Hello and welcome to a quick video on Riemann sums and integrals in Python. We're going to be exploring how different ways of computing these Riemann sums can affect the accuracy of the result numerically. So I'm assuming you already sort of know what a Riemann sum is, but in general the idea is that if you want to approximate the area under the red curve here for example, then you can uh, segment the x-axis into a number of divisions and then basically treat the area underneath the curve as simply these discrete columns then add up their areas and also approximate the area underneath the actual red curve. And of course, if you make finite, finite, finite division, then the error is going to be smaller. But the question is, at what rate does the error change if you make more and more divisions? That's what we're going to be finding out today. So essentially, what we want to do is compute this Riemann sum Sn as the sum of the function evaluated at a number of locations multiplied by the width of those columns here. So the first step is actually to take the x axis and divide it up into a number of segments according to different rules that we'll be exploring in just a second here. So I'm going to show you three different rules. It's the left rule, the mid rule, and the right rule. So the idea is like to be evaluate first at the uh, starting point and then take a step to the, the right. Or do we first evaluate at the right and then sort of uh, compute the distance to the left? Or do we take the middle value? So in order to do that, we simply um, create a function here called get x range with the minimum value, the maximum value, the number of segmentations, and the division node. So we can create first the um, range of points corresponding to the, uh, the left version. I should probably put that over here because I think it's mirror for you guys. Um, but anyway, if we specify left as the mode, then we just return the same distance before. If we choose the mid one, we simply shift it by half of delta x in order to um, make sure the x value is in the middle of that, that interval. And if we choose the right mode, then we simply shift it by a whole dx. So just to test that this works, let's try and visualize this. So if we use the um, interval from 1 till 5 with the left mode, then we evaluate at uh, 1, at 2, at 3, and at 4. As you can see here, this is the interval from 1 till 2, and then from 2 until 3, 3 until 4, and then finally 4 until 5, meaning that we evaluated the, the lines here. For the, um, the middle method, then we evaluate at 1.5 and 2.5, 3.5 and 4.5, and for the right method, we evaluate at 2, 3, 4, and 5, like so. Then to um, actually visualize this Riemann sum, I've just uh, defined a function here. This is the negative degrees exponential. And I'm also computing here the actual sort of correct value of that integral if you do it by hand. So we can compare the numerical approximation to the actual correct value here. So now we're going to actually uh, set up the sum parameters. First, let's just pick five divisions to keep things kind of simple, going from zero until five. Then we're going to create like a plotting list here so we can plot the, uh, the actual graph. And then we can compute both the left, mid, and right x divisions here, as well as the um, actual function values here. So basically we get something that looks like, like this, and of course if we increase this to, let's say, 50, we're going to get something that's a bit more fine-grained. You can see that if we increase the number of divisions, we get closer and closer to the correct result. And I get an interesting question we can ask is, which one of these three methods actually approach the correct result the fastest? So to figure that out, we're simply going to implement the function for taking the Riemann sum as specifying a function, the min and max values, the number of divisions, and the mode, we get the x range and then simply return the sum of the function values evaluated at these x points here, and then multiplied by delta x, which is the width of every single column. So now we can test this um, simply by looping. We initially specify some um, number of divisions, then we compute the Riemann sum for the left, mid, and right methods, store those results, and then we increase the number of divisions in order to see how that um, the difference between the computed numerical result and the actual correct true integral changes with the division number. So running all of this, we can see we get these charts right here. So in terms of absolute error, we can see that the left and the right methods actually seem to decrease fairly slowly, but the mid method actually decreases much more quickly. In fact, if you um, look into the sort of theory behind Riemann sums, we, uh, we predict that the mid method actually scales as 1 over n squared. And that seems to be the case because we increase one order of magnitude here, we go two orders of magnitude down, while the left and right method just scale as one over n, which means that we have to go uh, one order of magnitude forward as long as we go one order of magnitude down, which seems to be indeed the case. Okay, so hopefully you found that interesting. It was just a quick little video to understand how these uh, integrals here change with accuracy. If you're actually doing any kind of numerical integration in Python, I recommend you use the numpy.traps uh, method because implementing anything by hand in Python is never going to be as fast as actually using the, using NumPy. But still, this is kind of a nice exploration of how these Riemann sums work. 
So if you found that interesting, feel free to download the source code in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.